Hey you, Mitch here. I uh, got the Kramer Beretta Vintage and Pewter Gray here from Coil's Richborough Music in Richborough, Pennsylvania today. Uh, Kevin's a great guy, so if you haven't been to the store, they got like 15 uh, guitar teachers that all teach variations of levels um, of lessons. So if you're looking to get up your chops, that's the place to go. Uh, this guitar came in the Pewter Gray, but I got it done in a custom uh uh, Royal Blue Seymour Duncan JB, matching JB, like the one that came in at stock. Um, and a violet purple, -ish, dark purple kind of violet um, pickup ring, mounting ring from Italy. So that was pretty cool. This is the last uh, JB in blue you'll probably see for a while because they don't, uh, Seymour Duncan told me they don't allow uh, custom orders in, in different colors anymore. So I was lucky enough to find this one, but uh, let's give it a test out and see how it sounds. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, this thing rips right off the bat. Uh, let's give it some clean settings. I got the Boss MS3 here. Um, this is a step delay I created with a chorus, so it sounds like this. Got the uh, Floyd Rose 1000 tremolo. This thing's pretty cool. Uh, it stays in tune really well and it looks really great. It doesn't seem as bulky as the, the German Floyd Rose, but anyway, here's a uh, better close up of the pickup in action with the violet pickup ring. Uh, guitar looks great in all aspects. Got the uh, maple neck. It's got a gloss finish on the back, but not too heavy. Um, it's got the Allen key tuners here, if you can see, uh, attached to the back, if that's a pain in the butt for you to take off. But, uh, yeah, what else we got? We got the slicer. Check this out. This is the Boss MS3 slicer. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool, right? Sounds cool. Let's get a uh, little univerb delay. Uh, here we go. Uni phase. It's a phaser and uh, uni. I forgot the, what the effect is actually called. Uh, uni vibe. Uni vibe sound. Sounds like this.
Love it. Anyway, if, if you uh, haven't checked out this guitar, you should. It was brought to my attention. This guitar, again, was supposed to be called the 84. Um, but the Kramer, I guess, production team or marketing decided to go with um, the vintage name. And the 84 is a separate guitar with two humbuckers, non-slanted. Uh, but it does give a warmer tone uh, on the on the lower string. It's more of like a middle pickup up here or down here. And then up here on the high notes, it's more trebly. So it's like a... You know? Alright, keep rocking out.